Back in the ancient times, when computing was young, and Windows XP and Vista were the norm, there was a game. A game for those of us that liked trains. It was called Railroad Tycoon, and it was a game that I enjoyed playing. This game went far beyond the humble train sets of our youth. It made you the head of a railroad and asked you, Do you have what it takes to become a titan of industry? Good times indeed. Years have passed, and there are several railroad simulations available on PC and game consoles. But what about tablets? What do railroad enthusiasts have to look forward to in the touchscreen computing world? It looks like we juggernauts of the rails will be giving up our cushy virtual jobs and journeying below ground if the game designers at Dino Polo Club have anything to say about it. Their game Mini Metro is a different take on the railroad management sim. Instead of vast landscapes, the player is limited to a blank subway map. Using touch, we connect stations and watch as a rectangle travels between stations. The graphics are simple, but the use of the familiar Metro map format makes the game easy to understand. Gameplay is simple, but challenging when it comes to keeping your riders happy. You find yourself asking, why are the people at the square station in such a hurry to get to the triangle station? The game quickly becomes an epic struggle to keep passengers flowing through the system. Remember, a rider in motion is a happy rider. However, if you are unable to keep the riders moving, you are fired and the system closes. You can continue playing in sandbox mode, but the game is pretty much over. However, if you do manage to keep your riders happy, new subway systems from around the world will unlock and you will be able to advance in your subway management career. This simple game is a welcome addition to any railroad enthusiast game collection. I hope you all found this review interesting. There is more to come from the Coolcast. Stay tuned.